Hello friends, I welcome you back to this lecture series on aircraft performance. So in the previous uh, lecture, we have seen the rate of climb for maximum angle of climb as well as velocity corresponding to maximum angle of climb and maximum angle of climb itself. So I hope all of you understood the concepts and the methodology I request you to follow in order to remember all the equations is to revise it as often as possible so that you remember all the formulas and where to apply, when to apply. Let's say for example, to find out the velocity corresponding to the maximum angle of climb. Let's say the aircraft wants to climb at maximum angle of climb. What should be its velocity? And if for the given velocity and maximum angle of climb, what is the rate of climb? Right? So these questions, you should be in a position to answer. Right? So hoping you understood all the concepts, we will move on with our discussion. So now we will try to get the equation for maximum rate of climb. Right? Till now, what we derived is the equations for maximum angle of climb. So I want the aircraft to climb at maximum angle. Now the vertical velocity I need it to be maximum. Let's try to derive an equation for maximum rate of climb. Right? So let's recall the equation. Now, as we have discussed, clearly the rate of climb depends on thrust to weight ratio, wing loading, and the altitude. Right? So for maximum rate of climb, for this equation, I will differentiate this with respect to velocity. We have already discussed why differentiating a term with respect to a parameter results in its maximum value or minimum value. This is basic fundamental mathematics where for any given curve, if you differentiate it with respect to the another variable, you will get either the maximum or the minimum value. Right? So in this case, we are following the same principle. I want the maximum rate of climb. So I am differentiating maximum rate of climb with respect to velocity. So if I differentiate, I will get this term thrust to weight ratio 1 by W by S that is the wing loading CD0 and K. These are all the important parameters on which the maximum rate of climb depends on. Now the simplification part I will leave as a homework. It's a simple mathematics. I don't want to uh, spend time in simplifying the equation. I will just brief you about the methodology. So here I have differentiated the equation, rate of climb equation with respect to the velocity and equate it to zero. So this is the condition for maximum rate of climb. So in this, I am going to get the expression for velocity and I am going to substitute it back in the equation to get the maximum rate of climb. So if you observe this equation carefully, it depends on wing loading, that is the under root of wing loading, thrust to weight ratio to its power of 3 by 2, that is 1.5, and again thrust to weight ratio within the brackets, L by D ratio. And here Z I have introduced to simplify the equation where Z is equal to 1 plus under root of 1. Uh, plus 3 by L by D max the whole square into thrust to weight ratio of the square. Right? So this entire term I have simplified and have written it as Z. So let's call this as equation number 11. Let's do few observations here. If I increase the wing loading, rate of climb maximum will also increase. What is wing loading? The gross weight of the aircraft to the platform area. Right? In other words, I am reducing the platform area with respect to weight of the aircraft. Now in this case, the maximum rate of climb will also increase. Next observation, as the altitude increases, thrust required decreases and as a result, the rate of climb maximum will also decline. 
which means as the altitude increases the maximum rate of climb an aircraft can achieve that also will reduce right in other words let's say for example boeing 747 at sea level its maximum rate of climb will be higher compared to its rate of climb maximum rate of climb at higher altitude i hope you got the idea moving on to the next observation next we will try to get an expression for velocity corresponding to maximum rate of climb so let's call it as equation number 12 and again the methodology is same as we followed in the previous case once i know the rate of climb we can calculate the velocity corresponding to rate of climb right let's see few observations the first observation is the velocity corresponding to maximum rate of climb is directly proportional to the wing loading wing loading is the net weight of the aircraft it's the ratio of the net weight of the aircraft to the platform area of the wing right higher the wing loading higher will be the uh, velocity corresponding to uh, maximum uh, rate of climb also the velocity depends on thrust to weight ratio whether it is for maximum rate of climb or for uh, maximum angle of climb right for both the cases uh, the velocity depends on thrust to weight ratio higher the thrust to weight ratio more will be the velocity right so again same in this case but as altitude increases the density decreases as density decreases the thrust required will also decrease hence the thrust to weight ratio will decrease which results in decrement of velocity corresponding to maximum rate of climb to analysis you have to understand so both the density value and the thrust to weight ratio whichever reduces more so the velocity corresponding to maximum rate of climb varies accordingly right so let's try to solve a simple problem to calculate the maximum angle of climb and the velocity corresponding to maximum angle of climb and the maximum rate of climb so we will take the same example as the previous one and try to get this maximum values so what are the data available from the previous problem that is we have the thrust to weight ratio where the thrust is 27700 uh, pounds and weight is 73000 pounds so the ratio is 0.3795 then we have wing loading that is 76.84 then cd not as 0.015 cd not is the lift independent uh, drag or the parasite drag and k as 0.08 where k is nothing but 1 by pi e a r where e is the oswald efficiency factor and a r is the aspect ratio right and we ha also have l by d maximum ratio which is 14.43 and the density at this altitude is 0.00237 slugs per feet cube so in order to calculate the maximum angle of climb we have the equation that is sin theta max is equal to thrust to weight ratio when this sin theta will be maximum that is when l by d ratio is maximum right so how it works when l by d is maximum 1 by l by d max is minimum when 1 by l by d max is minimum thrust to weight ratio minus some minimum value will give you the maximum angle of climb so substitute all the values we know and we get the maximum angle of climb as 18.07 degrees right which means the particular aircraft cannot fly beyond this angle of climb right so this is the maximum angle of climb the aircraft aircraft is capable of flying next parameter that we have to calculate is the velocity corresponding to maximum angle of climb right so once we have the theta max we can simply substitute in this particular equation that is v theta max is equal to under root of 2 by rho infinity that is density and within the root we have another root that is under root of k by c d not and this is the value of cl under root of k c d not if you could able to recall for maximum lift to drag ratio 
the parasite drag must be equal to the induced drag coefficient right in other words cd not should be equal to kcl square so from this i can get the value of coefficient of lift as under root of cd not by k so this is 1 by cl that is under root of k by cd not and then we have a uh, wing loading that is weight of the aircraft to the platform area and cos theta max so here we are calculating the velocity corresponding to maximum angle of climb right so we'll put all the values and we get the value of uh, velocity as 376.8 feet per second now what is the physical significance of this velocity is if you want to climb the aircraft at an angle of 18 degrees or uh, 18.07 to be precise then the aircraft should fly at a velocity of 376.8 feet per second then we'll move on to calculate the rate of climb maximum so for maximum rate of climb directly we have the equation i would not suggest you to try to remember this equation you can easily derive this equation within one or two minutes so for this particular equation i need the value of z so first i will calculate the value of z l by d max value i know thrust to weight ratio value i know so substitute all the known values and then i get the z value as 2.0488 right then again i substitute the value of z in the rate of climb maximum equation and we have all the known values on the right hand side of the equation let's say i know wing loading i know the value of z density cd naught thrust to weight ratio and l by d max so all the values i know i just have to simply substitute and get the value of maximum rate of climb so in this case i get the value of maximum rate of climb as 179.86 feet per second now at this point i want you to recall the first thing what is rate of climb rate of climb is the ratio of excess power to the weight of the aircraft maximum will be the excess power rate of climb will be maximum so my question to you is when you will get the maximum rate of climb graphical right you can pause the video right now think about the answer write the answer in the comment section below and let me know now i asked a question graphically what is rate of climb maximum when the excess power is maximum rate of climb will be maximum where the excess power will be maximum at sea level at sea level the power available is constant for a propeller aircraft of course and the power required will be minimum or in other terms i will get the maximum rate of climb at sea level but as the altitude increases the power required for the same velocity will keep on increases reducing the excess power so only place i get the maximum rate of climb at sea level that is this value so as the altitude increases the maximum rate of climb value decreases i hope you understood the point right so finally for this uh, particular problem i got the solution as 1.79.86 feet per second that means the aircraft at max can gain an altitude of 180 feet every second that is the conclusion of this particular problem now in order to make things more clear if i draw the power available and power required for a jet aircraft so for jet aircraft power available varies with the velocity whereas the thrust available for a jet engine almost remains constant right with increment in velocity right as you can see the excess power is also changing so i can get the values of power available and power required and i can draw this particular graph and in the next graph if i draw the variation of rate of climb with respect to the velocity that is the free stream velocity this is how i get it right so at one point the rate of climb reaches the maximum value and that is the rate of climb maximum the aircraft cannot go beyond this uh, rate of climb value so this is the maximum rate of climb then beyond this point as the velocity increases the rate of climb decreases